everyone. Welcome back to Feed Your Addiction. I am Dewey at 615, your host. I'm going to apologize because we are having storms here right now and the power and internet have been a little bit intermittent. So I'm going to get through as much as I can before, before that happens again. And um, <laughs> we're just going to play it by ear. Uh, so if this, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining. I'm not sure if I have internet right now, but I definitely um, don't have power. So, okay. So I'm having intermittent power. We are having really bad storms right now. So hello, Chris. Happy Sunday. We're going to get through as much as we can. Um, we're going to just go ahead and call it a party because... We're going to be moving and shaking and coming and going, so I don't know how um, it's going to go. Um, summertime thunderstorms. <laughs> I'm hoping at some point the lights are okay. The lights are going to come back on. Do y'all hear the thunder in the background? Maybe they'll come back on here in a minute and stay. So we're going to just go ahead and jump in. All right. So as many of you are aware, I just came back uh, from my summer 2023 uh, vacation. Um, I was off for 18 days. We traveled for 11 of those days. For those of you that are just coming in, we're in the middle of a storm and the power has been going in and out. And right now it's out, but I still have um, internet. So I don't know how that's working. Maybe it's uh, through the um, service on my, um, on my iPad. So we may just open the blinds here in a minute to get a little bit more light. And we're going we're to just roll with the punches because <laughs> we don't have a choice right now. Let's see if that helps okay all right but we're, we're gonna just work with what we have um and then in a minute i'm gonna call the power company and make sure they know the lights are out here um all right so was was off for 18 traveled followed out spent two days in seattle the sky does look a little lighter i hope hopefully um so again let me let me know in the chat please if i'm frozen if we're back thumbs up rated and just like i am but at least we have lights back now okay so seven days um alaskan cruise i recommend it for everyone and i recommend it before retirement age so that you can actually get out and about and enjoy, um, you know, the wilderness, the glaciers, all the different outdoor activities. I highly recommend it. it um, it's one of those vacations. Usually when I go, most of the professionals that I work with go on vacation. We come back, we always say, oh my goodness, I need a vacation from my vacation, right? Because you're just so tired and worn out. That was not the case with Alaska. It was a very relaxing vacation. They had, of course, everything that they normally have on cruises. So pick your poison and they had it available. Um, so again, Juno, Skagway, Ketchikan, uh, Victoria, Canada was in the spa every other day. I do recommend that if you are going on an Alaskan cruise, not only do I recommend the excursions, but I do recommend camper spa treatments on the days that you are at sea. Um, and then uh, once we, um, so that we could, you know, catch the rest of the stuff and quite honestly get a little bit of retail therapy because who knows when I will be back in the Pacific Northwest. I did highly enjoy it. Um, it is definitely a place that I can see making an encore visit. All right, let's talk about the bag that I carried. 
I carried uh, my Florentine dies. And I know how much of, uh, how many skeptics I have um, in, <laughs> in, in this community, especially as it relates to Florentine leather. But I came straight out the packaging, took the tags, everything off right before walking out of the door. I knew which bag I was going to take. I planned accessories. I got busy last minute running, trying to get to the airport. Almost ended up in the tulip shopper with me. That's how we hand out. But I did not get a chance to switch accessories or any of those things. Dottie held it all. Right, right at. Okay, for my thoughts on that. But I have uh, updated my assessment because she is my assessment because she has been amazing. The video that I posted early today is of Dottie being carried in the rain once I got back home. I needed to make a uh, lunch run. And as I was heading out, Dottie got soaking wet from the porch to the car because I didn't have my car parked in the garage. And I just torn Dottie. It wasn't the best angle with, you know, it, it was me driving. But I wanted you to see that without me doing anything, that bag dried perfectly fine. And I'm going to contact um, as I carry different colors, different styles of Florentine. If it gets and I think about uh, filming it, I'm going to just do that because I want you to enjoy your Florentine. All right. So again, Dottie was brand new straight out the packaging. And baby, let me tell you, when I say she has had a rough 30 days and the 11 days out west was a testament of Florentine leather, I, I, I can't say enough. Now, I am going to clean her up just a little bit. Not going to do that tonight. But I do believe I'm going to film it if that's something that you think you'd be interested in. Let me close those now because I know I'm getting the lights reflecting. And there goes another band because the wind is just picking up. Um, we're having bad weather and the power has been like in and out and, and the internet. But I'm going to clean her up with a little Kiwi leather conditioner because Kiwi clean conditions and nourishes the leather and after you see Dottie you're gonna realize she needs a little bit of all of that because this bag was brand new when I pulled her out and she has gotten a patina that dare I say is probably a little bit deeper than my Florentine natural Buckley but she had she was brand new and even just getting out of the house, because again, I was rushing to get to the airport, but she has gotten soft and squishy, and she has earned her place as a forever bag in my collection. I have two uh, Florentine large dotties. I was uh, corrected by two of my tribe sisters that Dottie did come in the large size and a regular size. I can't even remember what the regular size would look like because I was so fixated on the large one. Florentine with the green tassel. Do y'all see all of the dings and bruises? She was carried crossbody. She's got you know, like marks from the train. We did, um, we had an outdoor camp day. We spent time with the um, sled dogs out in the glaciers. <laughs> like she has had it. And I, I really had planned to film this bag before I left because I hadn't revealed it. And then kind of share with you her progression. But I didn't think it was going to look like this. <laughs> I, I did not. 
All right, let's talk about what she holds. So because I was running behind, I did not have a chance to change um, my wallet. So my TheraWorks, because I take it everywhere now. So that was in here. I used my full wallet. I planned to switch into just a card case to go with it. But yeah, uh, that didn't work out. I had my readers, which is different from the pair I've got on. I had um, prescriptions. I had Josie uh, hand lotion, a full size poopery because once we got to the cabin, I actually stuck this in the bathroom and then when we come out to go out on excursions, I throw it back in my purse. My Pat McGrath lipstick was in here. I had a couple packs of Clorox wipes to wipe things down on uh, at the airport and on the plane. And then I had a whole nother set um, in my luggage for the hotel room for the boat when we got off. So there were tons of packs of those. This, which was is my tech case that I had not, I only planned to travel with my phone chargers. Again, I was running late. So I ended up not having, um, not switching out. This was in my purse when I left, but by the time I got to um, my gate, I did take it out and put it in my carry-on so um, that I could get a little bit more um, space. I had a pair of socks. These are the ones from Timu. I kept them. This is a fresh pair. Um, but this is uh, for security. I had a lip uh, balm in here. I had toilet cottonelle wipes. I had this Luna bathroom spray that I featured. I don't know. I don't know if the um, Sephora haul has gone up or not, but this was in a recent Sephora haul. I had that in here. Um, I had hand sanitizer, those Purells, but I don't see. I don't know. I had, oh, this is actually, I had this one and some Purell ones, but I don't see that one. Um, I had <clears throat> my car keys. I had my manicure set. I had <clears throat> a couple of gift cards, but I'm not going to stick those back in there. And this was absolutely packed with um, KN95 surgical mask um, and Purell singles were also in here. So it's not as full as it was. <clears throat> But I had everything, including my Smile Actives pen. My actual device was actually in my luggage. Keys. Oh, yeah. House keys and sanitizer. And this is how I left out of the house. She was not snapping at all all of that was in there she was not snapping but i had to get out of here i knew i had a little bit more room in my carry-on so i figured if i could just get to the gate i can get reorganized and when i did that this came out it went in my carry-on the luna spray spray slid down uh oh Luna spray 
slid down. Hand sanitizer fit right in the top. Socks so that I could grab them as I went through TSA. Walked out of the house with my sunglasses on. They were in a soft case they laid across the top. And guess what she did? So she had everything that I needed. And then once we actually got on board, um, <clears throat> I was able to take my um, st stateroom key and it just slipped right back here in the slip pocket. It worked for everything. My phone fit as well because there was space behind the full size wallet for my phone to fit there. I was pleasantly surprised and very pleased because again, I was late, literally an hour before I needed to leave for the airport. I was still trying to pack, shower, switch bags and I was waiting on a package um, from was it Amazon or Dooney one of the two um, it didn't get here before I left so my neighbor um, was on package duty while I was away held everything it I was surprised because you know I have a little bit of an aversion to bags that are like four inches, four and a half, three inches in depth. They have just not worked for me. And they wouldn't necessarily as an everyday carry, but it worked as my everyday vacation bag. There were times on uh, the boat when this stayed in the room. There were other times when I wanted my stuff with me and I walked around with it crossbody. No issues with the strap. The strap is adjustable, but it does not have the center third section. So I think it's six, two, three, actually it's five adjustments, but it does not have the center and it does detach. The strap does detach. So she held everything. Now, once I got back, and I was looking at um, some of the items that were on the site, I remembered that I have this little beauty and I have it in Safiano, I have it in Pebbled, I have it in a couple of different colors. And I was curious um, because this bag to me is significantly smaller. So maybe this is what the small version of Dottie looked like um but this is let me call the correct name it's the Lonnie or Lanny crossbody but it's now called the zip crossbody and it's available in pebbled leather now it doesn't have the tassels hanging there on the front this of course has an outside front pocket. Dottie does not have an outside pocket. Um, snap, flap, this one zips. But I'm curious to see of the stuff I carried with me, how much of that would have worked if I had picked up a different bag. This one does have the third section so you can turn it into a short shoulder bag or you can adjust it from a crossbody standpoint but let's see and i already know it's not going to happen but let's take a look at it i just want to see of that how much so that i'll you know because dotty proves herself right i did not think that um i was going to be able to get her to close leaving out the house but i was just going to have to go with it um, but she, she earned her spot. So wallets, phone, let's get some stuff in the pockets. Okay. 
these. I really need to downsize my keys. More keys. Wipes, mask, medicines. Let's see here. Lippies. She's getting full. All right, let's get that there and that there. All right, we still have manicure, smile actives, Luna spray, and readers. So let's see if we're gonna be able to get all that in here. All right, and this, this is available in more colors than the Florentine Dottie, so if that's of interest to you or a different color or different price point, then that may be an option. Everything's out empty. And here we go. Oh, you know what? She wouldn't have worked because leaving out of the house, I wouldn't have had my chargers. Let me see. All right, what can I put in the outside? Maybe mask. That's something thin and flat. Let's see, that's still not gonna make enough room. Still don't have my socks in there. Okay, maybe socks in the outside pocket. Yeah. Um, hmm, maybe my phone no <laughs> okay so it still holds a ton but it is smaller than dotty because Dottie additionally was able to hold my sunglasses, a um, large frame purse, at least temporarily, and it also had two phones, my work phones upstairs. So this one is definitely smaller, but it's giving similar vibes as the Dottie in its silhouette. So a little bit different, a little bit smaller. Now this, <clears throat> both of them are heavy once you get them loaded down. It is what it is. I was going to be gone for 11 days. I needed access to my stuff, right? But Dottie, she was a super duper trooper. What else can I say? All right, that's, that's where we're landing with Dottie. I'm glad that I have her in red Florentine. Maybe I won't beat that one up as badly as I beat this one up. But she looks like she's been used for years, doesn't she? She does. This is after 30 days and most of this was in Alaska. Some of it was just getting out of the house to the car because I was running late trying to get to the airport. All right. So we're going to leave that there and then I'm going to stick this back, I'm gonna stick all of this back into the bag that I carried last week while I was in Connecticut, which was this little number. I did travel with her out 
with the um, hang charm, the charm on the outside and the zipper pocket on the outside because um, boarding pass, phones, um, like I, I do hard copies of my tickets of my boarding passes just in case, hand sanitizer, mask, like all of that I wanted access to it going wipes all of that but coming back for whatever reason about two days after being in connecticut i actually decided to switch the charm and decided because i you know some things had moved around boarding passes were out i didn't have to have all of that other stuff so then other stuff started to build up in the pocket it got a little bit bulky so i decided that i would switch the charm use Technically, what Dooney advertises as the back of the bag, as the front of the bag, I move the charm and then let all that bulk be against my body so that it didn't look so distorted. Sus, I tried for the life of me to keep my charms from clanging together. Clearly, I'm going to need another tutorial about my angles before I tie it because it did not work so i'll be reaching out for that um but this always great carry this gives me vibes of leisure shopper um it gives vibes of you know the um the liz shopper it gives medium russell vibes so it works for all of that all right so Here's what I, let's revisit what I purchased while I was there. There's a bag. Where's the bag? Where did I put the bag? Um, I think I had it right here. Okay, I've got Hattie. But where oh she's over here all right so this is my one and only small Hattie and my one and only to date purchase of Florentine pale blue <laughs> it is such a new bag okay so this is the regular size Hattie when I saw her in person from a size standpoint because y'all if you watch the live from the courtyard there at the outlet you've already got the backstory behind the hunt for this bag um but when I saw her I thought is this really that much smaller than large Hattie. And of course I wanted to do a comparison, but they didn't have large Hattie in the outlet. So I dug out my red, red large Hattie. And I want to do a comparison from a size standpoint. I do need to start looking for accessories. Thank you for all of you that helped me decide on the shoes that I'm going to purchase to go with the pale blue. But I wanted to do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. And oh, by the way, I have a fresh thing of tube of E6000 glue because y'all already know this right here is a liability and I need to fix it the way that I did on this one and my bone one and on my tribe sister's bag because um things can go terribly wrong if you do not have cat like reflexes as it relates to the strap on hattie all right so this is considered the regular or i guess the small size hattie this one is available on both dooney and i love dooney um, it is included in the summer fun sale on Dooney for, I think it's $319, no promo code. And it is the same price on 
I love Dooney. And it's not included in the Splash promo. So it's just $3.19. So if you're looking for a deal, um, I would say continue to watch it. But I, I'm i curious. So we're going to continue to talk about it tonight, even though you guys are likely not shopping. But I did include affiliate links down below so that you could see the items um, that I'm talking about tonight, see the current prices and promotions. Um, those are affiliate links. All right. So we've got that out of the way. So this is the pale blue. And this is large patty. This is the big mama. Um, so there they are. Let me draw the top of this one in a little bit. Because it's going to look larger, I think, just because they're not... This one is a lot softer. This one is still super stiff. And just so you know, I have carried Large Hattie in the bone color. That's the one that I carried with me to Houston. And the strap, the, uh, the lobster claw logo lock came undone in the parking lot. And I had to grab my bag as it was sliding off of my arm like was gone all right so let's see let's take a look at it okay um, from the sides okay and then the bottom so it is a little bit shorter in length and let's see let's see here oh yeah 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 okay there is there is a noticeable difference when let me see I'm probably this is probably not gonna work but hey it's a it's a it's a science project. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna give it a trial here anyway. Let's see if you can. Uh oh, you can probably see the length, but you can't see the depth. All right, so there is a difference, and I'm still calling myself a large hatty girl because y'all know if if large is in the name, that's where I am. But I want to see what she holds in comparison. So we're going to take stuff out of Lonnie and see how much of what Lonnie and Dottie held will Hattie hold. So there she is in the inside. All right. So I want to get this pulled back out all right here's where we're gonna start because that did fit in daddy we're gonna throw phone in large wallet prescription pack Clorox wipes mask I know we're still a lot of people wearing masks on board and off quite honestly so keys Ooh, her pocket is little wait a minute the inside zip pocket and I know it's a smaller bag but it's a small pocket. Look at that. You see that? It's a small. Uh oh. Hold on. Let's try it now. See how small that pocket is? Let's see. 
We're going to stick keys in here. This leather is so soft already. Oh, all right. Hand lotion, readers, smile actives, poofery, hand sanitizer. All right. Theraworks, because it works. House keys. Manicure set. Cotton nail wipes. And two lippies. All right. So. Oh, and spray. Everything fits. She still draws clothes. I'm starting to remember why I bought drawstrings to start with and why Suz is so addicted to a good drawstring bag because it's just like a little camping knapsack. Like everything. <gasps> oh, have I moved in? Did I just move into her? Oh my goodness. And she sits right at my sweet spot, right at my hip. And I know this is going to be a little bit misleading because she's not weighed down. So, but they actually fall almost in the same place. Dottie, du I mean, I'm sorry. The red large does come, uh, is a little bit more north south, but I'm impressed. And I'm going to glue her with the duck on the outside as opposed, oh, I hate this. I don't think the white looks good on that one. Now I did do the enamel on the bone, but this one I also E6000, you see it's not opening. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and it will be the same. like that. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So there she is. I have no clue what I want to do with accessories. So drop, um, cause I've missed out now on all of the Florentine accessories. I'm hoping they will reappear. This is so soft. Like it's already broken in like Dottie. Like, just super, super soft. Okay, back to the accessories. I've missed out on Florentine. So, I need some ideas for accessories, accessory colors. Because I need to go through my stash and see what I can find. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to wait to carry the pale blue until I find Florentine accessories. So, leave a comment if you're watching on the replay. If you're in the chat, um, leave it in the live. Uh, what what would you pair or what have you paired with your um, pale blue Florentine pieces? I kind of wish so is that I got the blue background in the hydrangea because all of my pieces are with the black background. But hold, hold. Oh, please. Let's see. I do have that bag out of the way. So I just wish I had the blue background because it's it's kind of harsh on the 
put the black on the background. I need the blue. So maybe I'll go check that out. Um, the other thing that I thought about is could I mix some Greta pieces with it and make this work? I don't know. So if you, I, I, um, I assume that because I'm on this kick, everybody else is, and I know that's not um, accurate, especially considering how late I am getting on the pale blue bandwagon. But Coach started a frenzy with this Tiffany bluish, bluish, greenish color, which... I had been stalking and then when I went in store I realized wait a minute Dooney has already kind of done that color ways and in my opinion Dooney did it does it better and then I started thinking about I have a patent leather Janine that was in an aqua color I started thinking about spearmint Rosalind Ellis reminded me about um, the color aqua. Um, VPW Leo 21, my tribe sister, we were talking about glacier blue and pale blue. And there are just so many colors. So if the Cassie 19 thing isn't your thing, and I love the look of that bag, but Cassie was already small enough for me. I made it work, but the 19 is just, it's a no-go. Maybe check out Dooney, like the Spearmint, the Aqua. It, that's um, Aqua color in Ostrich in the saddle, um, in the zip satchel. Absolutely gorgeous. The Glacier Blue is pretty. Um, Spearmint, it's not on sale. I just had that bag. Where did I put it? You know what? I think I took it in the living room to look at it under different lights. Um, but anyway, I feel like I could make that work. Like in the meantime, because I could use this as my wallet. Um, or I could pull out my DB75 multi pieces hold on let me let me see that's further that's not gonna work hold on hold on let's see what we got here nope that's wait a minute Dooney stuff to check like the DB75 the mm, I don't think this color is in the watercolors ooh is the B the uh, the DB with the little maybe that one might work let me see what else I got down here in accessories hold on I don't think I have I think this is it for what I have close by. Uh, I've got to get these bags organized. I need to part ways with some bags. And I've made a decision that most of the ones that are going to go are going to be coach bags. Um, I think I'm going to just play around. I need to do a little bit of hunting and fetching 
to try to find accessories and then I'm gonna put together maybe a little bit of a lookbook or a reel or something and throw it out on Instagram or maybe it's a shorts and figure out what I have that will work. I think I got a card case, like a card case like this in this. So this could be my catch all and use this kind of as my wallet or wallet and then some of those cute little Amazon cosmetic pouches with the ladies on them. I'm sure there's one that has like this pale blue color. I could coordinate that with it. I think I'm going to have some fun just pulling stuff out and playing with it because clearly I don't have anything local right here that matches this color because it's the first one. All right. So moving right along, I think I'm on a small bag, smaller bag. I'm not going to call it a kick. Let's just call it exploration because um, I got this bag and I will tell you when I opened the box, I was like, oh, she's she's kind of little um but because I don't do a lot of small bags here and I know some of you are lovers and frequent carriers of smaller bags I thought that I would share it with you tonight only one color available on ILD that's the blush color that's available I picked up the oyster when I was ranting and raving on the day of uh, the um the weekly ILD deals it is available over on Dooney.com as a part of the summer fun sale. I think it's $129 there, uh, maybe $139. I can't remember. It's down in the information box. Um, but, y'all, she's a little. But we're going to see what she fits because we're just playing with bags tonight. But it is the Pebble Grain Satchel in the color oyster and she's a little tink tink i know some of you were just like oh my goodness she's tiny she is she's tiny i'm gonna just stick this over here we're gonna we're gonna let let me get her out okay one i want you to see this color oyster and that it is truly a neutral color and if you haven't added oyster the season is almost over because it will disappear. Dooney does not keep oyster year round. But I wanted you to see it in pebbled leather. And if I can dig out um, one of my Wexford leather oyster pieces, I'll post a video so that you can see what it looks like in that leather. But look at, does this look, okay. I keep saying look and then there's always one more thing. Okay, so let me... All right, let me check her now and make sure. Check that out. Okay, all right. So look at her. Is she not the tiniest little thing? Like, tiny, tiny. She got a big old butt though, look at her. <laughs> so she does have a little bit of depth to her let's compare her depth to Lonnie so you can see her she's about the same in length yeah got a little out of practice I've been gone for a long time let me get her lined up all right, so there she goes. But y'all, I feel like she's so little. She, you know what? G Alto Genoa, this is on, this is basically last summer's Camila, and then look at that. 
Y'all, Camila will eat her lunch and her dinner and steal her snack money. Look at this. Y'all know. What am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this? Let me tell you. This will be right down my sister's alley. Uh, but she can, uh, she can forget it. Let's, let's, it's tiny. It's literally a handful. Look at this. Uh, I love the piping on the edges though. But look at little Tink Tink and Oyster. Look, like, is this even the same size DBs? It can't be. Those are much smaller. Much small. They, where did, where, let me see. I got packaging. Look, look, okay, look at here. You see that size? D. Look at, look at, look at that. Everything about it's little. Little. I know some of you are like finally in heaven, like, <gasps> She want a small bag. That's what price will do to you. All right, let's, let's. But the color, look at this. Look at that color. Y'all, this is as close to a pink. Like it's got this mauvey, grayish, pinkish, uh, just kind of nudie elephant gray undertone. It's just like. The perfect chameleon color. And while I didn't think that I would like the Sierra trim on Pebble Oyster after I got it a few years ago, I absolutely love it. All right, let's put that all over back in the box. Dust cover. I bet it's a little tink tink cover too. Look at that. Little baby cover. <laughs> okay. I need to see how this size compares to my, um, what it holds compared to my gift from Peter. Peter Dooney. Okay, it does have the strap inside. It has the, um, Natural color, gingham lining, uh, slip, zip, and then, is that two or one? One slip on the opposite wall. Okay. What bag did we put stuff in? I need to, okay, all right. Stuff is in pale blue Hattie. Let's see. If she holds everything that Hattie holds, I might just be a convert tonight. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right, so we got wipes in, prescription pack in. All right. Phone. Um, we're going to see phone well it's not gonna go in the slip pocket so we're gonna just stand it up keys on the side car keys Manicure, we put the sticker back in here. I think that's every, yep, everything out of that pocket. Lotion, all right, let's get those things in here. So keys. All right, keys, let's lay those down. Manicure set. Lotion, 
you're going to get in the slip pocket. Mask, fireworks, spray, 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 teeth whitening, glasses, and socks. Oh, let's see. All right, that's, she is so soft. All right, that's everything there. All right, so now let's see of that stuff what I'm gonna be able to get in here. That stuff falling out the pocket. Y'all, if all of this stuff gets in here, all right. So it's in there, but right now, it, you see it's not going to. So let me reconfigure some things and see if I can fill in some corners. It's going to end up being a game of Tetris, I'm sure. I was getting concerned there for a minute. All right, so let's talk about what didn't fit. This spray, which this is a big spray. They should really reconsider um, the design of this bottle. It it's it needs it needs a smaller profile. My tech stuff didn't make it. My socks didn't make it and I need those well you know what socks probably I probably can hold on hold please let me see wait a minute okay so with that the only two things uh oh The only two things that didn't make it in were these two. Everything else went. Yeah, the socks for the airport. So this, let me see what is that right there. Because that's what's causing, what is that? Okay, that's the lotion. Let me switch it and see if... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me just lay those things down. And let's see what that does. That little flap there. Little smile didn't want to smile. That's... I can't believe all of that stuff fit in there. All right. So, let's see what's in here. So that's what she looks like. Socks from the airport on the top. Cause everybody has their feet out now. Oh, oh. Don't get me started, I'll throw up a little bit in my mouth. Readers. <laughs> there is um so what was sticking up on the up uh, that i said oh let me lay it flat i had the smile actives standing up and i had the tan lotion standing up and that as you can see interferes right there with the smile so i just laid that stuff on the side on its side and then i didn't have that issue 
So I also have in here masks. Clorox wipes, my phone, still wouldn't be able to get my work phone in here because this doesn't have an outside pocket, full size wallet, but I have a small, like I could do like something like a slim wristlet or a deluxe mo would work in a different, you know, in a color. I have the Thoroughworks. I have Cottonelle Whites. Pill Pack. House Keys. Car Keys. And I've also got some cash and stuff in there. Manicure set, poopery, and spray hand sanitizer. It's a little clown car. She just earned her right to be carried because I wasn't expecting all that to fit. So there she is. She holds a lot. Now, once you get things in and zip her, that is going to be its assigned chair in the classroom, right? In the classroom, when it goes in, that's where it's going to need to go back in in order for you to be able to zip it and get the smile. I don't know why these now don't want to... I love this color oyster. I love this color. It has been a go-to for a long time for me from Ganey. I just wish they would offer it more often. And clearly in larger size bags, which I do have a few, but I'm greedy. All right, let's do one more. Can y'all hang in for one more? I feel like I've been gone forever. We can do one more. Hit the thumbs up if you are still here. Sounds like the storm finally passed over. The lights haven't flickered. The internet seems to be a little bit more stable. Let's do one more. We are going to do one more because I keep putting off, um, even though I have made this pledge, of conquering the center zip this year. Y'all, we're halfway, we're at the halfway mark and I just, I, 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 I. it is, um, maybe, maybe, okay, here's, we're, we gotta, we're gonna get a bag out and we're gonna do this one. So this is the Blakely Tammy Tote in the color Bone. It is kind of that Greta monogram, but it's the Tammy tote. It has the outside pocket. It has the feet under the bottom. It has the great shoulder drop. But what it also has is a center zip that is gonna force me to organize my bag in a way that is not natural to me. Um, but I'm going to try to embrace the center zip this year. It's not going well. Because I have avoided carrying a center zip bag because I already know it's not. It's going to challenge the way I pack my bags, what I carry. All right. The other thing is, this bag has a great depth. She has a great butt on her. But because she has the center zip, it is now like two, three inch butts as opposed to being able to really just settle in and 
utilize all of that real estate. All right. If I don't do it now, she might go back. She's been stripped. Okay. And all the shoulder drop, the depth, the outside pocket. But let's pack her and see if I'm going to be able to make this work. Outside pocket. Great shoulder drop, center zip, and then on the interior, she has the two slips and then a slip and zip on the back wall. So, huh, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to start with wallet in the front, tech top. I don't want to leave that flat or stand it up. We'll have to decide in a minute. All right. Tech. Let's see here. There. Keys. Will my phone fit on the outside? That's stiff. But phone goes in with no problem. And I'm on, what is this? The Galaxy, the S23 Note. Yeah. All right. Next. Keys. Um... Whites, mass. I'm gonna throw that stuff in the center because it's flat. I'm gonna throw pill pack in the center because it's flat. I'm trying to keep it so that it isn't as disruptive. Uh, manicure set in the center because it's flat. Readers. Socks, hand lotion, smile actives, oh, fair mm. works, all of the other sprays. everything to fit remember that's everything that was just in Dottie that was just the vacation stuff what I have here though is the rest of the stuff that I traveled with for work so let's see how that goes we got cosmetic pouch got my triple zip which I have my receipts in for um, my expense reports this little nylon wristlet medium wristlet I have had it forever oh my goodness his little eyes starting to come off this thing has just as many miles on it as I do. Like everywhere I go, this thing, see, it's got coins. It's got extra hand sanitizer in here. It's got gift cards. It's got um, keys in it to all of the houses. It's got nail clippers, Listerine packs, nail, like it's a little bit of everything is in here. I'm gonna, where am I gonna stick it? Mm. And then, I got a 
pill that clearly I didn't take, that I should probably take now. Headphones for the plane. I've got gift cards. Um, no, that was food from today, so it wasn't with me then. Sunglasses. And then mail, but that came out of the mailbox yesterday, so it wasn't with me. Mask, boarding passes. Receipt from the grocery store today. Another mask. Oh, and some Purell packs. All right. Throw all that back down there. Let's see if it's going to snap. It is not going to snap. Is it going to snap? It snapped. Is it going to stay snapped? It's going to stay snapped. Maybe. I am contemplating how I feel about this center zip. I don't like having to think like, oh, it's flat, so I put it in the center zip because if I put anything bulky there in the middle, then it will dip okay so let me let me just show you as i know some of you love center zips and you don't understand why everybody doesn't absolutely love them my mom loved a center zip bag because that's where she kept her wallet she just felt like it was more secure there i i don't i to me it's like i gotta go in my bag then i gotta go into the zipper to get out like it's a whole thing it's kind of like me with the whole grab and go it's just an, uh, an another step but okay so got my phone here, but then, and see, that's a, that's a magnet. Coach needs to take note, or maybe they can like enter into like a 3PL relationship with Dooney with its hardware, because this is just significantly better. And baby, this bag is heavy, and for that bag to stay it snapped, not only when it was on my shoulder with all of that gravity pulling the weight down, but also laying on its side where you know everything shifts and it was still snapped. The, Dooney's hardware is second to none. Y'all see where, when I tell you I'm allergic to like everything and the mosquitoes have been having a literal buffet. Do you see that? Like, oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. Why I don't like the center zip is because let me just shift this way. If you put anything in this center zip that is not flat, it is absolutely going to interfere with the real estate, which is already cut in half in the, the back and the front of the zipper. So if I put a bunch of lotions and sprays in the middle, then it's going to expand at the bottom and then it's going to interfere with me being able to put the other things in the front and the back. But I'm in here. It is a gorgeous bag. I love everything about this bag except the center zip. And... I am contemplating if there is a way for me to get this center zip out without completely destroying the lining of this bag. Like, is there a way for me to get this out of here? I'm going to have to take a look at it and see if there's like a little surgery uh, project or I may go back and watch, um, what is it, Tanner Leathers and see if, see how he removes them. Um, to see if that may work all right anyway love everything about this bag except the center zip 
But I will be honest, I am not as excited about it because of the center zip as I am about the Hattie in Pale Blue, the Oyster Satchel because it's a little clown car and I did not foresee that playing out the way that it did. Um, and then also, um, what was the other one? I've got so many bags around me. Oh, Dottie, that um, actually took the trip with me. So all of these bags, as you can see, have a similar capacity to the items that I carried with me on vacation with, what is this, Pammy? Tammy, with Tammy, Tammy, because she has the outside pocket. Tammy has the outside pocket. She has great shoulder drop. She has a strong magnetic closure that is going to hold, and I'm sure I've got several pounds worth of stuff in here. But she not only carried what fit in those smaller bags, but I was also able to get the rest of my work travel carry into this bag. Magnet still snap, fit on my shoulder with no problems. I've just got to remember that if it's flat, it's in the center zip as opposed to fumbling for it, um, you know, in the bag. The other thing that frustrates me about center zips is I literally have to also now remember, like, if you're reaching into your bag, if your pocket is not on the outside, like the way you set your bag up, then is your wallet on the front of the zipper or on the back of the zipper? Is your tech case on the front or the back of the zipper? Wait a minute, where did I put the um, my readers? Are they on the front or on the back? On the back? Where are the sunglasses? So it's just, it's just way too much brain power required for me to carry a center zip. That being said, I am going to continue to try for the rest of this year to figure out if I can find an organization method that works for center zip. Maybe it's not carrying a full size wallet. Maybe I have to switch, this wallet needs cleaning too. Um, maybe I have to switch to like a card case or maybe it's a deluxe mode or maybe this is the bag that I go back to see if a, um, a Carrington or a grab and go will work because I just can not seem to figure out how to make this center zip work. If I use it as a cosmetic, then I still have like little round things that can distort. I don't know that I like, I, I, I'm a work in progress, but I have missed out on quite a few bags because of the center zip. So I need to figure out what's going to work because an open tote, meaning that does not have the center zip, whether it snaps or zips or do totes have flaps? I don't think I have a flap tote. Um, those just seem to work significantly better for me than this one. But she's so pretty and she's in my go-to color combo for the summer. I just absolutely love bone in the summer. I prefer bone over white because I'll use bone through the winter white as well. But I just love the look of this. And look at that shoulder drop. Oh, straight from the palm up to my shoulder. It doesn't need to be threaded up because the shoulder drop just works. I love this. I just, this, this center zip, I've got to figure out how to make that work. And the fact that my phone fit perfectly in the outside pocket and it's not distorted, you don't really, can you see the outline of the phone? Oh. I love it, love it. What I don't know is if I picked up a, um, a Carrington in bone. You know what? A Carrington may work as a wallet in this bag because it will be slim 
So that will give me a little bit more real estate back on the front so that it's not so bulky. So that may be one thing that I adjust is switching to a flatter wallet. Not necessarily smaller, but again, the silhouette is a little bit different. Um, what else can I change? I can take my cosmetics and just dump them in the center. Oh, I don't like that idea. But I may give that a try. That may work. Um, yeah. They can't all be winners. I've got to grow into this one. It is... Oh my goodness, this bag would be absolutely perfect if it did not have the center zip. But if it didn't have the center zip, I guess it would be this, right? Is that what this would be without the center zip? Hold, please. So maybe that's the the straps are okay. Hold on, I'm 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 doing bag math <laughs> in my head from a comparison standpoint. They both have great shoulder drops. They both have outside pockets. No center zip. Center zip. Zip top snap top they both have the dbs this one i think is considered cream this one is considered bone they both have the sds Okay. Let me um let me take my let me get my stuff out of here. I want to do a comparison. Lord, I hope I'm not looking for my stuff <laughs> tomorrow if I don't run out of here without it. Because I've pulled this stuff in and out of bags 50 times tonight. But uh, we're gonna just oh that's not a good idea. <laughs> I can see me throwing that out with the trash. <sighs> Hold on, almost there. I wanna look at the dimensions of these. I'm gonna stuff them and maybe I don't need to fall in love with the center zip. Maybe I just need to accept that I am a large tote girl and that's the bag for me because this has everything minus the center zip. All right, what do I have in here that hasn't come out yet because it's still wait. Oh, my phone. And did I get everything out the center? No, I did not. Okay. Now. Okay, let me put some stuff in back in this one so that she's got a little bit more structure when I hold her up. Okay. side by side. Arr. Definitely need more stuff. 
Oh my goodness. Let's do it this way. Okay. So, all right, so there's Pammy, Tammy, and what's the other one? Pammy, Tammy. There's a third one. I thought there were three. Goes the thunder again. Oh my goodness, it's shaking the window. Okay, so they are about the same. Yes, Nellie. So Pammy, Nellie, and Tammy. And I'm about to throw the large tote in the mix. Because I think the reason that I don't, that I haven't gravitated, that I, well, let me rephrase it. I think the reason I've gravitated towards the large tote is because it is this bag, great shoulder drops, outside pocket, butt, feet, color, shoulder drops, height, closure but it doesn't have the center zip and i would not have picked up on that had i not done these side by side tonight so um tammy tammy just convinced me that i don't have to fall in love with her I am going to carry her because I've spent my money on her and I bought her probably four, maybe five months ago. So we're long past any kind of return. But this may end up being, this may end up being a great work bag as opposed to a purse because I could throw laptop in the front notebooks in the back um, or a laptop files in the front, all of my tech stuff in the zipper, charging cables, pens, pen, pen pouches, all of that. And then the back, um, like my notebook and my files. Ooh. move into her for work now she wouldn't travel with me for work because I'd be walking around the airport like this <laughs> and that would be confusing but I think this would work for my laptop because I've got a 15 inch um, laptop for work so that would easily fit um, and then notebook files, and then like pens, highlighters, and chargers. So this may actually work better for me as a work bag. And even on a day when I'm just going into the building, I could still drop a card case in here, throw my personal phone in the front pocket, work phone in, um, you know, in my pocket, or on the desk or if I'm out on the floor, I can throw it in my uh, safety vest and then th let this just be my purse. This may, this center zip may actually work better for me as a true laptop bag because that center zip all of a sudden became perfect organization to secure my tech and pen stuff and that's kind of cool. I may actually pack her and see how she works as a laptop bag because that didn't stress me out thinking about it as a work bag. <coughs> actually kind of like it as a work bag because it's different from any other work bag 
that I've carried before. I mean, I carried medium Russell, um, but that had, you know, I carried it to work. I carried it as a laptop bag. I carried it as a book bag, but it didn't have the center zip. I'm going to check this one and see. It may have just become a work bag. But this is a great travel bag. And to the lady that I bumped into in the bathroom um, at uh, BDL Airport in Hartford, Connecticut, um, we were absolutely carrying the exact same bag. We walked um, out up to the sink together to, you know, wash our hands. And I looked down and I said, great minds think alike. And she said, they absolutely do. I love your bag. I said, I love yours too. We were both carrying this exact same bag in this color. And um, she was using hers as a carry-on. So she had like <coughs> her... She had a smaller um, purse in her tote, but then she had like her book. I could see her, um, was it an iPad or a Kindle? Um, she had a, a sweater rolled up in the top. She had a water bottle. So she was using it more as a carry-on because her small purse was actually inside. And I was using mine actually as my tote handbag. So... Um, you can use them for plenty different ways. If you are still here and we are 93, almost 94 minutes in, you are the real MVP tonight. Thank you so very much for joining. I hope you all have an amazing week. Listen, before you ditch a bag, sell a bag, give away a bag because it's not working for you, Think about using it in a different way because I had an epiphany tonight and I all of a sudden now feel really good about this bag, especially on the days when I'm just going to be working here in the city because I could leave out with both, leave one in the trunk of the car, take the other one in as my work bag. It's still going to look like I'm carrying a purse. So before you ditch it, sell it, give it away, return it, Think about it in a non-traditional handbag way. It may convince you to use it or keep it. And then if not, part ways with it. But um, you know that thing called FOMO? It's real. And what I don't want you to do is to have a bag that you've gotten at a great deal, an original or a color that you really love. You part ways with it only to figure out Dang blasted, I want it back in my collection. You end up buying it um, on the secondary market when yours was new, came with warranty, or you end up paying more for it because inflation in these 2023 streets is very real. Hey, I appreciate you so very much. Again, affiliate links down below for ease of shopping. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get another video done um packing this for work and then i'm going to also and those are probably just going to be up pre-recorded videos that i upload so be on the lookout for that and then i need to clean condition and nourish Dottie before i put her away um so i will likely set up the camera someplace and film that to see if she gets any better i don't think she can get much worse and then, um, what's the last thing that I said that I wanted to do? Um, play in accessories to try to find something to match with pale blue. So those are the videos. Those are going to be like the next three videos that I work on recording. So come back, support those. Um, let me know what you think. I hope you all have an amazing week. I hope that your internet is stable and that your lights are not flickering because it's going to make for a long, interesting night uh, here in Georgia. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care, everyone.